I'm so excited. Today is just a beautiful day and I get to play on my tractor. We're greasing up our joints on the backhoe and the front end loader. We have our plans approved. We've built a road from the front of the property to the back to the build site. We have parking. We have areas for the trucks to turn around, deliver the materials. I knew just enough to get started. So, I mean, you can sit around and talk all day and make all kinds of plans and you can research till you're blue in the face. And at some point you gotta get started. And we are running the water supply from the front of the property all the way to the back, about 650 to 700 feet. We're gonna start midway in the middle, just so we can get the practice, trying to create a straight line using the backhoe. It'll actually probably be more curved to work our way along the property line. One of the things we weren't sure about was where all the rock might be. Uphill from where we are now, there's a lot of rock. And we just start digging. I'm not sure how long it'll take me, how many days. We'll be using spray paint to kind of mark some parts of our path. Every two to 300 feet, we're gonna have some way to you know, access the water line. There's something very satisfying about uh, using this equipment. And it's not a super large piece of equipment. This is a subcompact tractor, the Kubota BX25D. But uh, we're definitely gonna get some practice in using this backhoe. There's my crew. <laughs> so yeah, I was using the T-Post to get some of that mud out of my bucket. The bucket was getting compacted full of clay. Our frost line is at 12 inches, so our water lines need to be about 18 inches by code in our, in our area. Thankfully, depth-wise, just a couple feet and we're good to go. So we're burying it a little bit deeper than we have to by code. The bucket's like a foot wide, so that gives us plenty of room to put a water line in there, and then we'll also do the two-inch conduit. When the weather's great, everyone's in a great mood. Everybody gets grumpy sometimes, sure, but uh, and it's usually when it's like the heat of the summer. That's when we all get grumpy. In the heat of the summer out there working, not so much fun, but that's why we try to work either early in the morning or in the evenings. I mean, this is my favorite time of year when it starts to get cool and all the bugs are gone. By this point, I'm starting to get a pretty good idea of how to use the backhoe. And eventually, I figured out that I could actually use the tractor to move myself backwards. You didn't have to get off the tractor every time, flip the seat around. That's huge. That's a huge time saver. Just use the backhoe to move yourself backwards. I try to have somebody documenting what we're doing. The kids, uh, <laughs> just, there's always somebody that forgets the camera's rolling. Here we are, digging the ditch. <laughs> they're always catching each other, doing something silly. Usually they're catching me in some awkward position, you know. <laughs> just, they love to catch candid shots of me. And so they take turns coming out. Now my wife's out here, she's checking the depth. I can see that white painted line, so I'm on, I'm on target. There's something about getting outside and working, getting things done. And I love getting my kids out there, you know, to, to get them off their devices, to get some fresh air, vitamin D. Sometimes it gets a little funny with, with our family because, you know, we're all going every direction. We got people in school, you know, public school, home school, online school. Uh, yeah, we've, we got all that going on. We work full time. My work schedule can be fairly flexible. Yeah, so I'll run out for an hour and do some ditch work. I might come back in and do some paid work and back and forth. And, and I gotta say the back and forth has helped me get in shape. I feel a lot better. I'm sleeping a lot better. Yeah, so we're juggling a lot during this time. With our various farm animals and all the wildlife in the area, we, we do see predators on occasion. Was that a Bigfoot sighting? <laughs> uh, they're always goofing off. 
having a great time. So we made it to the end of this day. We started in the afternoon, maybe 200 feet on the first day of digging this water supply ditch in the middle field. Next day, we're back at it. I'm out there by myself, I think, at the beginning of the day. I'm starting to see more tree roots the closer we get to the property line. The primary reason we were staying away from the property line is because it's tree line. And, you know, the roots shoot out maybe the height of the tree, sometimes more, sometimes less. So we definitely didn't want to kill our trees. So. But while we're digging this ditch, I had a couple trucks come with some more rock to finish up the parking. I can see the white paint again. So we're pretty much hitting our marks as we go. And there's a view from where we started to where we are at the end. Yeah, so we're pretty much coming down the middle of the field. So there's the parking area to the right, still not completely finished. And this is the very end of that 300 feet. So there we go, 300 feet of ditch has been opened up, two feet deep. Tomorrow, hopefully we can get the actual water line installed, some conduit, get everything bedded, backfill it. We have some rain coming in tomorrow, so we wanna to try to get it all done and finish before it makes a big mess.